Hey guys, this is Tony with Food and Fitness Online. I'm a personal trainer and registered dietitian. Check out my website. I'll link that below down here at foodandfitnessonline.com. Today, we're going to talk about the science of HIT, H-I-T, not to be confused with high-intensity interval training, but this is high-intensity training, a workout protocol that's uh, characterized with a single set taken usually to absolute failure. So the idea is you only do one set, you're working out a lot less, and the question today is, does it work? Is there any science behind it? And there is. So I put together a collection of a few studies here that I'd like to go over with you guys, kind of explain uh, the concept of HIT, and go on from there. So without further ado, let's look at my first study. Uh, this was done in 2010 in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning. Uh, this type of study was a meta-analysis, and a meta-analysis is a study that looks over all kinds of study. It takes as the data that it finds from that study, and it puts it together in a useful recommendation that we can use. Okay? So most of these studies were meta-analysis. I like meta-analysis uh, because it covers so much ground, and it's a really great way to take a starting point. Uh, with your research and say, okay, this is the concept that I understand, and you can move on from there. So that's why I chose mostly these uh, in this video today. So first of all is the findings from the journal Strength Conditioning were that one set, uh, uh, sorry, as you increase sets, you increase your hypertrophy. So this was a study looking at hypertrophy. Um, another thing they found was that uh, they kind of quantified it and that there was a 40% increase in hypertrophy found with increasing the number of sets that you do beyond the first set. So take home message is that if you do do more sets, you will see more hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is another word for muscular growth. More sets, more growth. And more sets were quantified at being 40% more effective than a single set. So you get about 60% of the benefit from the first set and going on from there. In the second study I looked at, which was a meta-regression, is like a meta-analysis, uh, done in the Journal Strength Conditioning in 2009. Uh, this one looked at strength, and they found that there was a 46% increase in strength from two to three sets compared to one. And that in this study, there was not a significant difference between doing two sets or three sets. So just doing more than one set got 46% more benefit in the strength training. Okay, so that was another study, another meta-analysis. Another study done in the journal Strength Conditioning. Why are these all done in the journal Strength Conditioning? Well, because that's what they study, Strength Conditioning. Just makes sense. They did a meta-analysis. Uh, they found that there was, once again, an increased benefit with multiple sets done over time. But another interesting finding was that similar benefits were found in beginners between doing a single set and doing multiple sets. So the take-home message is, is that over time, so as you go further and further along with your training career, you're going to get more benefit from doing more sets, which also means that as a beginner, you may not have to do as many sets in order to get as much benefit out of your training. Okay? All right, so enough with the meta-analysis. Let's look at a crossover study done in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning. What a crossover study is, is they take two groups. Uh, for example, one group, you know, they, they did with a single set, another group they did with three sets. And they worked them out and they saw the benefit from those. Then what they did was they had a period where both groups were detrained, so they lost the effect of the exercise. And then they took the group that did the three sets and put them in the one set category and vice versa. So that way you can see how this group responds to three sets, to one set. You have the crossover, that's why they call it a crossover study. And what this is, this is one of the most powerful clinical studies that you can do is a crossover study because it removes a lot of variance from individuals. So we can see maybe just one person responds well to single sets or three sets. No, they crossed them over to see what it could do. So in this study, they found that both groups, both one set and three sets, saw significant increases in strength. However, and with trending with the rest of these studies, they found that three sets were superior to one set. Okay? So we can determine from these four studies, which uh, the first three looked over many, many studies done on single sets versus multiple sets, that doing multiple sets is superior to doing a single set. 
So you may be asking, why am I talking about the science of high intensity training? And you guys may have seen some of my other videos, and I can actually link that below. Um, my other ones talk about high intensity training. Why somebody would want to do high intensity training? I mean, if, if I can just get you know 40 percent or 46 uh, percent more benefit from doing uh, multiple sets, why wouldn't I do it? And the answer to that question is cost versus benefits. So if you look at the cost, or in other words, the involvement or the uh, dedication you have to put in doing multiple set workouts, this can be a deterrent for beginners. One set is enough to give you over 50% of benefit in strength and size. So we saw that you got 40% more benefit or 46% more benefit from doing multiple sets. Well, that means with just one set, you're still getting a lot of benefit. Yes, this gives you more, but one set can still give you plenty, depending on your goals. Uh, also, one set is done about 60% faster than multiple sets. And what I mean by that is if you do a program where you have eight different exercises, just one set, and you're doing the back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, versus eight different exercises uh, with three sets, is your single set is going to be done much, much faster. So you're in and out of the gym. From a practical application, I found that high-intensity training can be done in, be in about 10 to 20 minutes for beginners hitting all the muscle groups sufficiently. So you're talking about a difference between spending 10 to 20 minutes in the gym versus possibly 45 minutes to an hour, maybe even 90 minutes in the gym. So it's the cost versus benefits. As you do more and more sets, you see less and less benefit as time goes on. This is something that we see is called the law of diminishing returns. Okay, So it's really up to you and your training goals. And finally is I'm not an all or nothing kind of person and I encourage you not to be an all or nothing kind of person either is that you can do single sets for some of for some body parts that maybe you neglect normally and that doing multiple sets is a barrier for you for some guys I'm gonna just throw this out that's calf training you know a lot of people skip their calves or a lot of people may skip exercises like rotator cuff and those sorts of things where the barrier is I have to spend so much time on this I really want to get the biceps or, or something fun or something like that what you guys can start doing in your training if you're already doing multiple set training is to start just adding one set of some of those exercises that you need to do and start tracking it and you're still gonna see benefit no not as much benefit but you're gonna see benefit and when you're you know strive for progression not perfection if you can move in the right direction that's really good so all in all the take home message of this is that high intensity training does work. It does not work as good as multiple set training. Okay, that's not what I'm trying to say here. Uh, other people may try to convince you otherwise, but it's simply not the case. The research is there. You can go check and see it for yourself. Okay, high intensity training does work. It's not as effective as three sets. Who is it more effective for? We found that it is more effective for uh, beginners and that doing one set or three sets does still give you significant results. So if you're a beginner, if you're a newbie, if you're somebody who has had barriers to get in the gym, you've had uh, kind of some obstacles, try just writing a workout program for doing a single set. You'll be in and out of the gym much faster. You'll still be making improvement. And then it's up to you later if you want to start doing three sets, four sets, five sets of an exercise in order to see your strength increase and your gains increase. Also, if you're on that other side of the fence where you're already working out a lot, but maybe you're neglecting some areas, try high intensity training. Try just doing that one set and you'll get a lot of benefit. Okay guys, I already wrote, also wrote this down because I always forget uh, to tell you guys is subscribe to my newsletter, or sorry, well I do have a newsletter on the website at foodfitnessonline.com, but subscribe to my YouTube channel and also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Share any kind of science or any uh, thing that would start a discussion. It always helps me. Also, I'm open to constructive criticism for these videos. Guys, thanks again. My name is Tony Paradis. I'm a licensed dietitian and personal trainer, owner of Food and Fitness. Check out my website at foodandfitnessonline.com. I'll link that down below. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed my talk on high-intensity training.